All right, this is a 1999 Ford F-150. We're gonna remove the dash. First thing we have to do is remove all the trim. This one has bolt here, a bolt here, and then, okay, that's it. Yeah, just to bolt, take it out, and then pop, just pop the trim, and it's gonna come out. The one on that side, I already took it out. It just, uh, it just has some clips. See? Just uh, pry a little bit and it's gonna come out. And then uh, I remove the battery so you, uh, because you have to remove this airbag right here. So you remove the battery, you take up all the trim. This one comes out, just this cover, just pop it open. And then there's one cover here and one cover in this bolt. That's that's the first step you have to do. You're gonna have to remove this door step right here. Any screwdriver you can just pop it up, pop it open. It's gonna come out. It has just clips. And then remove this rubber. Just pull up. And then this cover too, you have to take it out. The reason why you need to take this out is because you have to unplug all these connectors. All these connectors have to be unplugged because the harness is gonna come out with the... Um, then to remove the glove box, you have to uh, pull this to the side and this one right here you pull it to the side and it's gonna come out and then you're gonna see three bolts this is our seven millimeter uh, take those three bolts the reason why I take it out is because there are two bolts underneath here underneath the um, right behind the airbag I mean the glove box they're eight millimeters holding the the airbag. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can actually see it right here. This is just an 8 millimeter, and then there's another one on this side. I just took it out. That one right there. I took okay, it out. I took the two bottle out. There's one more up here. That one. The gold one you see right there. That one you took it out. So when you take it out, just give it like a screwdriver. Pull out. And then there's a, the connector is right here. You just push this clip and it comes out. That's it. So this one is holding only be hold by three bolts. On the That's right it. side, on the bottom, by the feet, and you're gonna plug all the connectors. They are on the side. All these connectors. The only one you're gonna leave is the. Uh, this is the antenna cable. It's this one that runs along the bottom of the of the dash. But that one, you're gonna unplug it until um, once you remove the dash, you're gonna unplug that connector. So that one for now, you can just unplug this uh, plastic uh, clip that holds it here. Take it out. So you have enough room when you take it out, uh, when you take up the dash. And also you have to remove this ground. This is a uh, this size millimeter eight ground. Here is because you have two bolts, one and two, holding the the dash to this frame. Also, you have to remove this bolt right here. And this one. You have, to do, you have to remove this door panel right underneath the steering wheel. There's one bolt. You have to remove this uh, brake handle and the hood handle. One. And there's a bolt underneath the handle. This one, the same thing. So there's one and two. One and two. And then 
there's one behind this cover on top this one just pops up and you put it up and bring this bolt and there's one more bolt here also you're gonna find one more here and then these two this one and this one these are number eight I mean these are eight millimeters and these ones all the ones you took out these ones are seven millimeters so once you have it out now you need to remove this bracket this bracket is held by um, four nuts this one here one on each end you're gonna you're gonna find it they're size 13 all right so I got it out and these are the nuts that there's holding it it's four of them this is very important this is very important to do. You have to remove this uh, plastic. Uh, it's like a like a cable. It's a 5.5 millimeter. It has a bolt holding the bracket there, and uh, take it out because when you we're gonna drop the 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 steering column. When you drop the steering column. When we drop the steering column, it's gonna um, it's gonna break because that one is attached to the cluster. So make sure you remove that one first. So this is the cable that I was talking about. This is the one is for the shift selector. This is the one that shows on the cluster. Uh, if you're in park, if you're in drive, if you're in reverse, and there's also you have to remove these three connectors that attach to the steering column. There's three of them. I always. I probably done like 10 to 15 heater cores, so I already know the procedure. After you're done with this, you have to follow the shifter cable, and you have to unplug it from behind here, because if you leave it plugged, it's gonna it's gonna crack. I'll show you when I take it out. Okay, so this is the shifter cable that I was talking about. So you have to do is put us. Put a flathead screwdriver in between the metal and this one, the shifter, and then here, this plastic thing is locking the metal. You have to pull back and then it's slide out. It's really hard to explain, guys. So when I put the steering down, I'll show you guys. And then the connectors here, you can just leave and plug. Everything else is gonna come together with the steering column. It's just gonna go down and stay down. I'll show you when it's out. So now I'm ready to take up the steering wheel. There's four, four nuts holding the steering wheel. There's one, two, three, four. Thirteen size. Okay, so I have it. I have it down now. You see, this is where the cable connects in the back. And and back here. back there there's another bracket where it connects so you just gotta pry in between the metal and the cable and it's gonna pop out it's pretty simple so now I have it out um, also there's this bolt and this bolt that attaches to the frame make sure you take these two to be able to remove the the, um, the dash okay I removed these two I almost forgot there's one more right here in the metal this is very important to remove because it's attached to the frame so make sure you take that one off it's a it's a seven millimeter I took it out so now I can move it see on the passenger side there's only one bolt you have to remove this is a size 10 it's right here if you follow this um, metal bracket, look up and there's a size 10 right here holding it against the frame. It's that one. And then you have to remove this nut and on the other side there's one nut just like this on the other side. On the driver's side. So this so all you have to remove. You don't have to remove the radio, you don't have to remove the cluster, anything else. The airbag top cover you have to remove the side trims and that's it
this baby is ready to come out. See, no problems. It's coming out. Usually I, don't, I do not take it completely out. See this is the only cable that's gonna stay attached to it, it's the antenna cable. If you want more room you can just pull out this thing and you have enough room. But you don't have to take it out if you're like me myself I'm just replacing the heater core. And then you're gonna take out these bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like three or four bolts in the back behind it. About 12 to 13 total and um, and then you can take out the heater core so I, I got all the bolts out you just have to separate this cover and it's gonna come out there's one more bolt down there, there's one more bolt. So I got it out, but I can't take it out because this uh, plastic is on the way. This one, there's a bolt here. This is a seven millimeter, take that one off and it's gonna come out. So there it is, we have the everything out. So this is the uh, condenser, no, I mean the evaporator, the AC evaporator and this is the um, the heater core, I'm replacing that. So to get to the heater core you just have to pull this, this one comes off. You just gotta wiggle it and play with it and it comes up. And then for the heater core you have to remove the hose that connect to the engine from outside. Okay guys, so in, the, in my case, I needed to replace the heater core. So in order to unplug the lines, I just cut them. Because you don't need the heater core anyways. And I'll show you why right now. Because since it's underneath here, it's very, very hard to to get to the lines and get this clip underneath underneath the um, the the firewall. So you just cut and you pull them out, and then you can uh, handle this clip outside, so it's more easier. Then when you're ready to take out this clip, all you have to do is press them on both sides. Sometimes it's a little complicated. There's a seal inside, so you just pop it out, and it's gonna come out, pull out. Or use a screwdriver to push, to push the little safety pin, I mean clips. And then just, same screwdriver to pull out. Be careful because there's an orange in between. If you lose that orange and you just put him in, it's gonna leak. So make sure you um, don't lose that orange. 